church. What in the heck is this? Looks like somebody planted some sweet corn. Oh, now I see why Grant's wife was mad at him. Okay, so today is a very busy day. In fact, we're picking up even more equipment. So y'all see little Johnny over here. Little Johnny, we all love little Johnny. But here's the thing. Little Johnny's getting a little old and uh, can't lift as much as he could at one point. Well, more like the seed bags just got bigger. So we're going to be taking little Johnny and we're going to be trading him in for a brand new Bobcat. Now, I know y'all what y'all are going to say. Why are you trading little Johnny in? Yes, I know. It's just time. It's time to upgrade. As Grant said before, it's the year of upgrading. We're going big this year. Also, I got to move some things out of this shed so we can put some more seed. We're getting a big old delivery of seed and liquid fertilizer delivered here today. So we might get seeding. I'm not too sure. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Anyway, we're going to jump in the Ford here and we're going to load up little Johnny because I, I, I hate to sell him, but it's got to be done. If you're trading an older skid steer for a newer bobcat, yeah, you're going to have to pay some money, but no, we're not going to have to pay too much. It's just little Johnny ain't as good as he once was. Okay, so we got the ramps unfolded here, so we should be good to load up the skid steer. Little Johnny. Little Johnny. It was good. It was good being here while you were here, but uh, now it's time to upgrade. All right, just back her on up here. Uh, 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 hello? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's going slowly. Yeah, there we go. Kind of just position it over the axles here. So y'all remember that John Deere garden tractor that I bought a while back? Well, what Grant doesn't know is this is the same one. I had full duels on this thing, but when I sold the tractor back to the dealership, they put them back on, and I guess they added just a few more implements that they had laying around. So, Grant essentially owns my old lawn tractor. But don't tell him that. Just just don't. Don't don't comment on this video so you can see. But don't don't take Grant in the comments or comments on his video so he can see. Just just don't tell him. Don't tell him. He'll never know. Crazy thing is, I think he bought it for more. But yeah, it looks like he's got a big old garden of sweet corn now. And well, we aren't going to have sweet corn, but we're going to have corn planted here fairly soon, as well as some beans. And uh, I guess we'll see what else. But first, we kind of have to get seed, which is coming later this afternoon. No cop, no stop. I, I say that, and then a cop shows up, of course. But I don't see one today, which is great. And I'm swerving all over the road because I can't, I can't haul with this thing. I'm not used to driving it. I got to get a bit better used to uh, hauling stuff with this truck. All right. Well, if, if I think that's what I think it is, then we're, we're gonna slow down just, just a little bit, a little bit. It is. Okay. Well, good thing it wasn't at the stop sign. Should we give him a loud honk or a polite honk? We'll give him a polite honk. There. That's a polite honk. I think. Hopefully. Look at all those fancy combines. Grant still wants to buy one at some point, but uh, I guess we'll see if he does. Gonna need one for harvesting, eventually. All right, so we're gonna stop right about here, unfold our ramps, and there she is. Brand new Bobcat 86.3. High flow turbo. She's got some turbos on it. As well, we got pal forks and a bucket. Well, Johnny, you'll be missed. Well, I can't say I'm not happy about trading up. This, uh, this definitely looks, we got air conditioning. Oh, yes, that is awesome. Check it out. This thing's even got a built-in jellyfish launcher. All right, he's now up the ramps. This one should be a little easier to take up the ramps than little Johnny. Oh, yeah, way easier. Look how good this thing looks, though. Like, man, this thing looks good. Can't wait to put it to work today. Well, I got to go do some paperwork real quick, but uh, one thing I forgot to mention here, we got a special feature for when Grant is driving. We got a little beacon on the top. You may ask, Austin, what the heck's the beacon for? Well, see, the thing is, is Grant is a terrible skid seer operator. So we got that, uh, that little add-on just for him. Just for him. He'll love it. Well, I don't think she's squatting. Anyway, we're back on our way back to the farm. Time to get some more work done. It would appear Jake has covered his fields in lime, too. But he had that big old fancy lime spreader. We had that uh, tiny little thing, which I still got to take back to the co-op. Dang. I got too much to do, not enough time. And here we are, back at the farm. All right, now where to put the bucket that we're never ever gonna use because we never use buckets on this farm, except for lime and snow, which look about like the same thing. That or when Grant spills seed, which he does quite often. Okay, so while we're waiting for the seed to show up, I gotta clean out this little piece of the shop here, so we're gonna see if I can move this trailer. But here's the thing, I just thought of it. I kinda need a ball on the forks, which I don't have a hole in, and I don't really feel like uh, putting a hole in the brand new forks, so I think we're just going to have to get a truck. 
because I don't think the three-wheeler is going to handle it. And the Chevy don't have a gooseneck hitch. It's up to my only favorite blue machine. Well, dang, this thing looks quite uh, well suited for hauling a horse trailer or cattle trailer, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so with the Chevy and the three-wheeler moved out of the way here, uh, I guess we're just waiting for that truck to show up. Well, any day now, it should show up. It was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. You know, I just sit down to have some lunch and watch this kid called Mr. Beast. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the guy's going to become a big YouTuber one day. But uh, yeah, anyway, besides that point, the guy just pulls in. So I don't know. He's, he's late. Good grief. Always, always something. But anyway, he's here now. So we got to unload this. Get to use the uh, the new Bobcat, so it should be fun. Time to unstrap this all. There's a lot of straps. But don't want this stuff falling off the trailer, that's for sure. It's expansive. Well, time to put this thing to work. See what it can do. Oh man, even for this skid steer, she's a little bit of weight. I can't even imagine little Johnny trying to do this. Because those right there are the old Pioneer seed toes that we used to lift. And as you can see, this one's gonna hold a heck of a lot more seed. This thing holds 1,700 more liters than those old totes, so that's a lot of weight. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be here a little while, so uh... Hold on, I'm gonna go do that cool camera trick where like, you snap your fingers and then the job's done, it looks super cool on camera, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. Ready, ready, ready? I mean, I, I guess it worked, I mean, not, not too great, but it, it still worked, it still worked. Well, truck's unloaded. Skid steer worked great. I am happy with it. This thing was a great purchase. Should have done it sooner, but oh uh, well. So I know we just put the seed away, but there's a few more things we gotta do, including getting the seeder ready for tomorrow, which we're gonna probably start seeding by tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see. Also, I gotta take that spreader back to the co-op. Yeah, we still got a few more things to do. So I'm gonna jump in the 8530, and uh, we're gonna pull this thing out here. So we're gonna load it up with probably liquid fertilizer and seed. That way it's all ready and good to go for the morning. Because Grant's supposed to be back then and we kind of want to get as much as we can done. So that also means loading up that tiny little cedar back there on the other tractor. So get our covers open and uh, yeah, let's get to work. All right, real quick here, I had to readjust the pallet because it was the wrong way. But now we got it adjusted, so that's all good. There we go, that's better. Yeesh, it's a little heavy on this thing. Almost needs some rear weights. Question is, are we going to be able to lift this high enough? Ooh. Oh boy! <laughs> um, so we'll just set that down. Okay. Went a little too, went a little too high there. We have to lift this up decently high though to be able to get it in the tank. All right, we may be able to get it here if we just lift it up slowly and have no forward momentum. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. <laughs> we completely tipped right forward there. Yeesh, that was scary. All right, so that's emptying up into there. We got a little, we're getting a little bit of the weight off of it, so that should be a little bit better. And then we gotta go fill up the seed, which is back here. Yeah, we gotta go fill up the seed tanks. But as well, that cedar back there on that smaller tractor, that one also needs liquid fertilizer. So we're just gonna leave this pellet out here. We should be good with that. All right, that should be good there. Now, when we bring up the seed, we pretty much just bring it to the back of the planter, and then we gotta load it all up from there. So that means carrying a lot of boxes of seed. Or bags, I should say. Not boxes. Bags. Close enough. There we go. We got the pallet of seed here. So we'll just go right on back here. To make it just a little bit easier, we'll just lift it up all the way as high as we can go. Then we should just be able to sit at the top and grab bags of seed. Now, the thing I love about this Bobcat is the super high reach it has. You can just fill the seed tanks super easily. Because it can lift twice as high as little Johnny. Alright, so with the seed now full, we're just going to basically put the lids back on and we'll just pull this one over to the front of the shop we'll go fill that other little cedar up later but first I kind of have to take that spreader back because that the co-op's gonna close in a little bit here so I want to get that back preferably today that way we don't get charged another rent day the rent days are nasty especially when they cost you money well I guess it doesn't cost me money in particular but it does cost the farm money so that means less profit and less profit means no vacation. But anyway, guys, it's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Thank you all for the support on the videos. It means a lot, especially to the guys who watch all the way to the end. I appreciate you more than you know. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.